hey everyone raven here thanks for tuning in so today i'm going to be showing you how i retwisted and styled my friend's starter locks and i know you want to see so just stay tuned okay so as you can see i already have a few started here and before you do anything you want to make sure that the hair is well saturated with water and oils um usually people like to do like a water and oil mixture you can just put a little bit of oil in your bottle um and that's what we did here so i just moisturized her hair so that i could separate it and once i can focus on one piece um i used a little bit of product you guys see that i'm using the talia wajid and just a really small amount of the tight hold and i just twist the hair around my finger i'm kind of like finger rolling it not even palm rolling it um her, her locks aren't even really like that thick to where i felt like i had to use my palms to palm roll it so i really just twirled it mainly around my finger staying in that same direction clipping it down and making sure that, that lock is nice and neat and i'll just continue on doing the same thing throughout the rest of her hair And like I said, I'm just continuing on here, spraying down the hair so I can separate it with my fingers easily. And I don't know, I just like to use my fingers to separate the hair opposed to a comb all the time. Also, guys, make sure you're following me and my mom's salon page at Creme de la Creme Salon. We show lots of styles and stuff on there. So, you know, check us out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, seriously, check us out, guys. We have lots of tips on there, tutorials, and putting up more videos on our YouTube channel as well over there. So head on over to creme de la creme salon and you know get your life learn some hair care okay also give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this tutorial or just watching me do hair <laughs> doesn't necessarily always have to be a tutorial just showing you guys how i do it and of course, if you guys have any tips, I would love to hear from you. Just leave them down in the comments below. I love engaging with you guys and just interacting and learning more about what it is that you guys do and what you think. So I'm just gonna keep going ahead and retwisting a few of these. Gonna speed it up for you so that you guys can, you know, just get the full gist of how it is that I do this retwist. And we're gonna move on to her styling next. And before I forget, guys, my friend Brianna here is four months into her lock journey. Woo -woo. She's just one month ahead of mine. So you guys know I'm always reaching out to her for questions and relatable experiences because we're basically lock twins. So, yeah, shout out to her for letting me style and record this video for you guys. Okay, so she's all dry and I'm gonna go ahead into styling. We decided to do two barrel twists. And I did start off by bringing the barrel twists like all the way around her head. We were kind of gonna do like a goddess crown. However, once we started bringing it to the top, as you can see here, we just felt like it would look so much better if we just did two coming straight down and meeting in the back. So that's what we did. And the way I did this barrel twist, you guys, um honestly first of all i'm new to this so i'm no pro okay but the way that i figured this out is that i started off by twisting two twists together as if i'm kind of going to start flat twisting i guess in a way but you're going to grab the twist on like the left and the right of the twist in the middle that you're creating and just kind of like wrap them around that twist so you twist the two together these middle locks you see me twisting i'm just gathering it within what i'm doing but these ones on the sides i'm twisting and wrapping it around the entire barrel and that's what's going to keep it tight um and like really tall so that it doesn't like fall apart or no locks like fall out of it 
um and the reason i'm doing like the middle locks i'm just keeping them together in, in the middle i don't even know if that's how you're supposed to do it but it just made sense to me that um i could kind of like build some thickness within the barrel so that's what i did i just centered the middle ones and kept those um you know where they are and the ones on the side i wrapped around and just kept going like that and it was kind of creating this nice barrel effect also, you want to keep in mind when you're styling any type of a retwist, you want to make sure that you're twisting those single locks in the direction of the retwist. The reason being is so that, you know, when you go to take down your hair, um, it is still freshly retwisted so that when you're pulling these hairs, you know, into a barrel twist, a ponytail or whatever, um, when you pull it down, your locks are still going in a direction that they would for a fresh retwist and you won't have like a puffy root when you take it down this way you can still ensure that you're going to have two styles in one okay so i'm finishing up on this barrel here and how i ended it off you guys i just twisted the hair together um kind of like rolling it and i just gathered it over to the other barrel just pinned them together neatly to where you couldn't see the pins and that was it that's how i got these two sided barrel twists coming down and meeting in the back and i just left out two little you know side locks and we added like a little seashell made sure that we did our edges and that was it you guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video leave me a comment like and subscribe see you on my next one